Hey everyone, I'm here in Marietta, Georgia at the St. James Episcopal Cemetery. Uh, we're here to see the grave of the victim of an infamous murder, and that's the grave of John Benet Ramsey. Now her murder is still unsolved to today, but we're going to check things out, go over all the, uh, all the speculations of what might have happened to John Bonet or who committed the murder. Um, now John Bonet was a, a uh, an American beauty queen. Uh, she was only six years old when she was when she was killed. Um, but her murder captured the attention of the entire nation. Um, so follow me. We're gonna check out her grave. And like I said, just discuss all the speculations of what happened, how media portrayed her parents, and we're just going to see what it's all about. Coming into the, the cemetery, you can drive on it. Uh, there's only, I'd say, about three dedicated parking spots. But in these parking spots, JonBenet Ramsey's grave is right behind them. So just to give you a, a description on what happened and why it caused so much uh, public and media interest uh, on this murder was John Benet Ramsey was an American child beauty queen who was killed at the age of six in her family's home in Boulder, Colorado. There was a long handwritten ransom note that was found in the home. Her father, John, found her body in the basement of the house about seven hours after she had been reported missing. She sustained a broken skull from a blow to the head and had been strangled. The autopsy report stated that John Benet's official cause of death was asphyxiation and it was associated with cranial trauma. Her death was ruled a homicide. This case generated nationwide public and media interest. In part, her mother Patty Ramsey Patsy Ramsey had entered John Bonet into a series of child beauty pageants. The crime is still unsolved and remains an open investigation with the Boulder Police Department. The Boulder Police initially suspected that the ransom note had been written by Patsy and that the note and appearance of John Bonet's body had been staged by her parents in order to cover up the murder. In 1998, the police and the district attorney both said that John Bonet's brother Burke, who was nine years old at the time of her death, was not a suspect. John Bonet's parents gave several televised interviews but resisted police questioning, except on their own terms. In October of 2013, unsealed court documents revealed that a 1999 grand jury had recommended filing charges against the Ramseys for permitting, for permitting the child to be in a threatening situation. John and Patsy were also accused of hindering the prosecution of an unidentified person who had committed the crime of murder in the first degree and child abuse, resulting in her death. However, the DA determined that there was insufficient evidence to pursue a successful indictment. In 2002, the DA's successor took over the investigation of the case from the police and primarily pursued the theory that an intruder had committed the killing. In 2003, trace DNA that was taken from the victim's clothes was found to belong to an unknown male. Each of the family's DNA had been excluded from this match. The DA sent the Ramseys a letter of apology in 2008, declaring the family completely cleared by DNA results. Um, now, Right in front of the grave of John Bonet is the grave of her mom, Patsy Ramsey. She died in 2006. Um, Patsy was the one that entered John Bonet in all these child beauty pageants while they're in Boulder. She won the titles of America's Royal Miss, Little Miss Charlevoix, Little Miss Colorado. Uh, Colorado State All-Star Kids Cover Girl and National Tiny Miss Beauty. Uh, John Bonet's active role in child beauty pageants and Patsy's reported pageant mother behavior were reported by the media after the murder. 
uh, in the summer of 1997, about six months after John Monet's death, the Ramseys moved to a new home in Atlanta after a summer at their vacation retreat in Charlevoix, Michigan. Patsy died of ovarian cancer at the age of 49 in 2006. Um, so, Patsy actually never got to experience the apology from the DA uh, where their name was officially cleared. So she, she consistently lived with the anxiety of media and the public portraying her as a murderer. And right beside the grave of Patsy Ramsey uh, is the grave of a two-year-old Robert Page Culbertson Jr., also known as Robbie. I don't know if Robbie has any relation to the Ramseys, but it is uh, somewhat sad to see a two-year-old and a six-year-old buried so close to each other, um, both of them having toys placed on their graves. Right next to the grave of John Bonet is Elizabeth Ramsey, and Elizabeth was the half sister of John Bonet. She was the daughter of John Bennett Ramsey. Uh, her and her boyfriend, Matthew Darrington, died when they were 22 when his BMW collided with a bakery truck near Chicago during a bad storm. And here's the actual grave of John Benet Ramsey. Now uh, you can see a lot of a lot of little girls' toys, uh, little kids' toys in general, placed on the final resting place of John Benet. It actually rained a couple days ago, so this bear uh, looks fairly new, uh, or it's it's been placed on the grave within within the last day or so. Now John Benet was born on August 6th, 1990, and she died December 25th, 1996. I'm not exactly sure if that's when the coroner pronounced her dead or if she was found dead, but she died on Christmas Day at six years old. <laughs> says love, purity, and joy, a gift to her family and the world, home in the peace of God. Right next to the grave of John Bonet is Elizabeth Ramsey, and Elizabeth was the half sister of John Bonet. She was the daughter of John Bennett Ramsey. Uh, her and her boyfriend, Matthew Darrington, died when they were 22 when his BMW collided with a bakery truck near Chicago during a bad storm. And just in front of uh, John Bonet's grave and to the right of Patsy's grave is the grave of Patsy's parents. So Patsy's parents, John Bonet's grandparents, uh, both outlived their granddaughters, both granddaughters, uh, Elizabeth and John Bonet. Uh, just looking at the date when Donald Ray died, um, May 13th, 2020, that's very recent. Um, I would say that he's lived a fairly difficult life having to experience two granddaughters dying um, Let alone one of them being the the height of national attention and media somewhat defaming the name of your daughter uh, and then also having to deal with or walk walk his daughter through uh, ovarian cancer where she she lost that battle in 2006 and here's a shot of
Patsy Ramsey's grave uh, where she has her two daughters 22 year old Elizabeth and six year old John Bonet looking on um, Elizabeth being her her stepdaughter but having your your two daughters look on to your grave and yours being the most recent and before I head out um, just across town there's actually the grave of another victim of a notorious infamous murder and that's the grave of Mary Fagan I'm gonna save that for the next video but if you like this video please like and subscribe um, if there's any place that you want to see me document leave a comment in the comments section and if you want to see all the other places that I've been to click the link in the description and it'll take you to an interactive map thanks for watching everyone